Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will present you how to use authorized authentication when you connect to Zendesk from your iPad. So, from your iPad go, download the connector for Zendesk, then in your iPad studio the same if you go here on the go, write Zendesk, select this one, your iPad team Zendesk, hit install and then you will have under your iPad team around 25 activities from the <coughs> for Zendesk. Now, on the connection, you can have now authorized client name, yeah? So you can use authorized user. So what you need to put, you need to put the username and the password, and here you'll put the authorized client name. I will show you exactly from where you take this one. So if I test the connection now, you will see that I have an authorized connection. Good, let's understand from where you configure this one on Zendesk. So I'll go on Zendesk. On Zendesk, we'll go to settings. We go to API and to be able for this connection to work we will um, for so for this connection to work we will go to settings here and on the password you will say enable because first you need to to connect to uh, to the API yeah to the user and password and then for the authentication user you need to create a, a client. I already have a client, but I will create an, another one and we'll use this one. So, uh, video test, video test. Let's say V test. Okay. Uh, test API. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Here, you'll put um, HTTPS, HTTPS, uh, it's localhost because we don't need the um, uh, um, one dot eight zero eight zero. Let's hit save. Yes, and here you'll get the secret password, but you don't need in this 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 type of connection the secret one. Yeah. So what you need from here, you need this. So the name it's Vtest. Yeah. So if I go back to UiPath Studio, and on UiPath Studio, I will put here instead of my test, vtest, then I will hit an, um, I will hit a test connection. And here I have my connection with uh, authentic, aut authorized user, yeah? And with this connection, we can get data, for example, um, if I get the tickets, I have the tickets with the subject, I have only one ticket, the one, the priority, the URL, the ticket ID form, and so on, yeah? So everything will be here. And if I hit save, this will return a data table. And this data table, I can access something from the data table. For example, I can access the, um, um, let's say, if I want to access the, um, the subject, the subject is number, three on this one yeah zero one two three let's uh, let's print the subject so let's save and run so the system will go on the background and this is the subject of my ticket yeah so in this way you get the out uh, the o authentication yeah the um, uh, authorized authentication remember for all other videos, remember for all other videos, follow me on the YouTube. And here now on the YouTube, now you have the um, um, playlist with the service, now Freshdesk, Zendesk, NetSuite, and so on, yeah? And Salesforce. Bye-bye, have a good one.